Thank you, Noom, for partnering with me on this video. 998, 999, come on, come on, one more, Oof. one more. And 1,000, yes. let's <sighs> go. Good workout, yes. but uh, you know what today is, right? Shoulders? I mean, yeah, we just cut shoulders, but most importantly, today is cheat day. <gasps> yes, that's let's right. Do it. <laughs> All right, guys, it's cheat day, and I just know the best spot for this cheat meal that we're gonna have right now. Mm, and that's cool and all, but I'm picking the spot. No, I think I know better where to get a good cheat meal. Uh, I think I know the best spot. No, uh, how, about, how about we make it a competition? You pick some spots, I pick some other spots, and then we let the audience watch both of our videos and then comment down below who, who, who do you think won. I like that. Let's do it. You guys like that? So we're gonna do a few places here on my channel and then you have to jump over to his channel and check out the other spots. I think that sounds good. And then you guys get to decide who knows the best spots for cheat meals in Vegas. Let's <laughs> do okay. it. I got this. <laughs> so where are we going? Uh, to one of my favorite cheat meal spots ever. Unas papas de al pastor. Forget the limes. Jorjito. So when anybody ever asks me like, what's your favorite tacos in Vegas? I always say tacos in the We ended up getting two types of tacos and then some fries as well. But we have to start, I think, with the tacos. That's actually my favorite one, the uh, al pastor yes. or uh, adobada. So whichever one you choose to say, al pastor or adobada, to the guy, it's the exact same thing. It's marinated pork that they put on the trompo is that spinning wheel, marinated with spices and a bunch of other stuff. And then something that Norma likes to ask for is the pineapples. Make sure to ask him for that. They usually have it at the very top and they cut it right with the with the sword machete thing that they have because it's so long. So <laughs> I like to just get a little bite of just the alpastor by itself first. Let's try it, yeah. So crispy. Yeah. I wish they were bigger though. That's like my one thing about Mexican tacos. They're always like, you know. Just get more, problem solved. <laughs> So you can modify these tacos as much as you want. Like on mine, I ask for uh, no onion. Usually I ask for extra crema, which is like avocado, or like sour cream that they have. And I usually say light on the salsa, because it is a little bit spicy. And my favorite is the tortilla. Like I really do think the tortilla makes the taco. Like if I go to a place and I could tell that it's like store-bought tortillas, I already don't like the place. Yeah, they're the ones that kind of fall apart. You know, the, the, yeah, those flimsy ones. I personally just like my carne asada tacos with just guacamole on it. I like them with everything they can throw on them. Some limoncito. You know something funny about Hispanics is that we always call both lemon. Like we call it both lime, mm -hmm. even though it's lemon. Well, we call it limon. It reminds me of all the carne asadas that I used to have with my family out in Mexico. I do feel like though, the tortilla for the asada is bigger. And you only get one mm -hmm. though. I'm, you're right, this tortilla has good integrity. Mm -hmm. It's just one, but it's like not falling apart. What do we have here? You were very excited for this. I was, this is like, one of my favorites, but I can't order it when I come by myself because you get this big plate. So it's gonna be French fries, it's gonna be sour cream, some of that um, avocado cream, and then whatever meat that you want, and then a lot of cheese. Oh yeah. That's such a creamy bite. The al pastor here is amazing. They're like not shy about how much pastor they're adding mm -hmm. to it. We have to slow down though, because we still have a few other places we gotta go to. And honestly, this is gonna be a pretty tough to beat, but I got something in mind. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Now, I know that in my channel, I do include a lot of restaurants and a lot of food venues, just like in this video that's full of cheap meals and some really good food that isn't really healthy for you. But in reality, I can't be eating like that all the time. Not only do I want to be thin, but I do want to feel healthy too. So really quick, I do want to say thank you to Noom for being the sponsor of this video. Noom is a program that does so much. It allows you to track what you eat and the calories that you're inputting into your body. It tracks your steps for the day. Plus it helps you learn how your mind works and why you make the decisions when it comes to the way you nourish yourself. It has these daily lessons that teach you so much. Like I really love learning on how to crush your thought distortion and getting rid of your negative mindset and that it's okay if you do have a slip up. I've been using Noom since December and it's gotten my body used to eating healthier to the point where I actually like it and that's always been a goal of mine to actually enjoy a healthy lifestyle. Like lately, I can't lie, I have been doing a lot of content that has me eating not so healthy food back to back and I hate it. I'm really excited just to be able to go back to eating the way Noom has gotten me accustomed to. You even have a goal specialist that you can talk to if you ever need help. Like I said, I've been using Noom since December and I have lost a total of 12 pounds. I just need to keep going and get rid of these airbags I call cheeks. So if you do want to start with Noom, just click the link down below or go on to Noom.com slash Norma Helia to take your free Noom evaluation. It's quick and easy and it'll help you create your own custom plan. All right, back to the food. 
So we're here at spot number two. This is actually George's pick. This place opened up recently, but they have a couple locations in Cali, and they're kind of taking over like social media game over here. Extremely, extremely fire food. Without further ado, we're going to Sayulitas. It's George's turn to order the food. Did you choose wise, the young grasshopper? Uh, yes, yeah, Sensei. Yes, I did. Dude, why are you trying to kill me? <laughs> we said cheat meal, right? Okay, so these are their specialty fries here. They're called the Pac Man fries. <laughs> and they come with tocino, obviously, the fries, cheese, chipotle sauce, carne asada. They have Mexican sauce. What else don't they have? They probably threw everything that they had in the kitchen here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, these are actually their medium size. There's a large. Uh, version of this that I can't even wrap my head around how someone can eat this or a large one. It's gonna put put us to sleep. Wow. Yeah, so that's the tocino and it's basically, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a Filipino bacon. It has like a little bit sweeter than what we normally consider bacon. It's like very sweet and savory. It definitely has kind of like that Filipino infusion into it. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Jesus Christ. He said <laughs> cheat meal, so here we go. I think this is the secret weapon right here. Up next, we got a bacon wrap burrito. So it's like a carne asada burrito with all the fixings inside, what you would normally have. And bacon wrap, they like take their time slowly to turn it and flip it until it's cooked on, you know, all evenly. And look at the size of it. Oh, no, man, let me see your arm. <laughs> look at her forearm. You see that? Ridiculous. Like this thing weighs like a, a newborn baby. On the inside, it's nothing too crazy. They stick with the basics like carne asada, you have guacamole, you have cheese, and then you also have like that kind of pico that they add on it. But they also add the same chipotle sauce that you add on the Pac Man fries. And I think that's what puts it over the level. Before we split it, why don't you take a bite? Just like that? Yeah, just grab it, just grab it. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, no, it's got it's got some size to it. Pretty solid bite. Mm. Pretty solid bite. You like barely scratched the, no. <laughs> the tortilla surface. No, but that's pretty bite. that's pretty solid. It's the first bite, but this is a good burrito. It's actually really juicy on the inside. Ah, uh, but yeah, let's split this one because I want to get that other side. You think you can finish the whole thing? No. <laughs> you know what's funny is that they actually have the large burrito. Is it a bigger one? This is the regular burrito, yeah. The large burrito. I believe it's like two or three of those like giant tortillas in a row. And it's just like it's like this long. It's Dang. super crazy. This is definitely kind of like a local spot, even though it's like right on the strip. Like it's right across the street from the Mandalay Bay. You can actually hear Daylight Beach Club like right across <laughs> the street bumping. Last time I was here, I saw Carrot Top. Oh nice. Yeah, so I think he's at the Luxor Rise. So like right before a show or something, he came here with his manager, and it was pretty cool getting to know him. And you guys know I love Carrot Top. He's so funny. Oh my god, I can see that itis that you were talking about. Yeah, no, the calories are kind of like getting to me. But I think it's time that we go ahead and get a little bit of energy into us with some sugar. All right, Norma, so where are we? I wanted to take you somewhere fancy. That's why we're here at the Wynn Hotel. Uh, this is going to be Earth Cafe. Not only do they have like an amazing breakfast, but they have some really good sweets as well. I was, I was at the one in LA and it's like bigger, it's more like traditional and stuff like that, but it was so busy and it was like a little... It was kind of messy to be honest, right? but this location is like pretty fancy in the middle of like a nice mall. So yeah, I like this one better. Can I get the tiramisu okay. and the banana cream pie? Yeah. So when you told me you wanted sweets, um, my mind automatically went to chocolate. This is gonna be their tiramisu that they offer here at Earth Cafe, and I love their individual portions right here. Okay, that looks bomb. That looks pretty cool. That looks bomb. Yeah, that is so good. I usually don't like any treats that have coffee in them. Mm. But this is like not too overpowering. And it's also not overly sweet. It has a pretty good balance. It's like the perfect consistency. Now we did kind of show up a little late today. It's already like almost six o'clock. Um, so usually they would have their case over there full of like other pies and other tarts. Some of the best desserts ever. We did, again, we did get here a little late. So what they did have left that is still really good was their tiramisu. And then what we're gonna try next is gonna be their banana cream pie. Yeah, like I eat a banana every day basically for a smoothie. Wow, but this is really good. I was surprised. Usually I would say, give us a second, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. But I don't think we should because we have one last stop to go to, which is gonna be Georgia's spot. And I think it's gonna be really hard to top, but I'll give it a shot. What, what's wrong? I, do you not like the place that I chose? Really? Out of all places. No, the cake shop. Best desserts in Vegas, come on. Come on, look, let's get a cake. <laughs> All right, no, I'm playing, no. The uh, other place is this way. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, this looks a lot better, George. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> this is my pick, and we are here at I Love Sugar. Uh, here at the Link Promenade, this, when I thought of like a sweet place or dessert, cheat day, I thought of like the most sugary sweet place that I can find. Uh, but more specifically, we're going upstairs because to me, cheat day and like meals, like calories also means alcohol. So let's get some boozy, sugary drinks. Let's go. George, you have no idea how much this means to me because I've been dying to come here. I was like, this place looks so cool. Every time I walk by, I'm like, one day I'm gonna go there and get a drink. Man. Today's the day. It's divided in two sections, right? The, the downstairs area is where you have the main store. So we have those giant gummy bears, gummy warrants, straw breakers, all that stuff. And then once you make your way upstairs, there's the 21 and over section, which is where we're at right now. And this is where you have those cool drinks that we're about to get. Look Jeez. at this. Oh my God. This is like four drinks in one. Yeah, no, it's a, the biggest martini glass I've ever seen. We got some uh, coconut rum, the Admiral Nelson's. We got some blue carousel, pineapple juice, cream to coconut, club soda, and then it's topped with the gummy worms and uh, with the rim as well, with some sour. Oh wow, it's good. Like a pina colada almost, right? Okay, the yeah, pineapple and the coconut in there. We haven't even made a dent and I took two big swigs. <laughs> but this is gonna be my favorite part probably. Oh yeah, should we mm. dip it? Gotta dip it in the... Yeah, let's do it, let's do it. I don't think I'm sleeping tonight. <laughs> I don't think so either. Too much sugar and a lot of alcohol. And then this little one's gonna be the peaches out in Vegas. We got peach vodka, peach schnapps, lemonade, sweet and sour mix, simple syrup, and Sprite. Something I really like is that if you don't wanna have to purchase one really big one, you can still get a little one and still partake in the dry ice situation. So this one is vodka right here. Oh, that tastes just like a jello shot. Oh wow, that right? is so good. Yeah. I, kinda, I kinda like this one a little bit better than that one, it. right? I think it's because of the peaches. It's absurd how big this is. Yeah. Like, it's heavy. Do you think one person can finish all that? I think one person can. I don't think one person should. Yeah. I think this is definitely a shareable quantity here. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, there you go. Ooh. We need a peach though. The dry ice kind of Yeah, like it made it really hard. cold and hard. Ow. Here, you know what? Why don't you pull the other wheel? Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Someone's gonna keep the stick, okay? There we go. It's really hard, but it's really good. This is a shot, come on. For a second I was like, oh, another uh, cocktail, but no, yeah, this no. Is a shot. So this is the Up Till Sunrise. We got a Himador tequila, orange juice, grenadine, and the gummy bear. This is a beautiful drink. Yes, I don't want to ruin it. It looks just like a sunrise. Cheers, Cheers. homie. Oh, Remember, wait, are this, we shooting it? This no, is a right? shot. <laughs> this is a shot, guys, right? Come on. All right, All right cheers, cheers. cheers. We're shooting it, I thought. Wait. Yo, that's really strong. Oh, that is strong. It's tasty, but oh my god. Come on, Norma. Oh my god. Everyone, Norma. I think it's the, the, the taste <laughs> of how strong this tequila is, it's just making it hard to shoot. Yeah. You got it? There we go. Took a couple sips, oh my god. but Ooh. we're in there. Let's go. My tongue is like dead from all the tequila. Yeah. This drink was stronger than both of those combined. So this has been one crazy cheat day for us, but we're not done there. We actually have one more cheat day that we're gonna do. So if you guys wanna watch the rest of the other selections, hop on over to his video. So check out some of the other places that we chose. We have, we did choose two savory spots and then two sweet spots. So we're gonna do the same in the other video. So if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me of all the cheat meals, which one would you choose and who won? All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace. It's such a creamy bite. It was a creepy bite? Creamy. Oh, I was like, how does that creepy? <laughs> <laughs> there it is, so lower your hand down. Oh, wow. Oy, oy, oy. Let's go. <laughs> Open. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, let's do one more, actually. <laughs> Did you choose wisely, my son? Yes, mom. Happy Mother's Day, by the way. Oh, gross. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> You're in your house. See the faces? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good uh, sweet tea here. Okay. Yo, what's up? Oh, what's up, my dude? Hey, how you doing, man? You. Good to see you, man. Yeah, see you later. You're so famous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Norma, and then for my dessert place, I want to show you a place that's like. I don't know where I was going with this. <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. I guess we could. What's up? How you doing? Oh, hi. <laughs> you deserve an Oscar for that performance. How are you? What's that, brother? Yeah, yeah. Are you right here? Hi. Oh, nice. Hi. 
I love the uh, like the shavings of chocolate all around the, the perimeter. <laughs> I get my peaches out in Georgia. You do? No, I'm just kidding. I know what you're talking about. This one over here looks like they put carne asada on top. Ew, don't say that. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. It's like ground beef. One coming over and one right now. One right now. Is this Michael Jackson? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm free, free, holy. Who sings that song? Me. 